Oh, yeah. There it comes. Okay. So here, this is actually an artificial light, but in sunshine, this does the same thing. And so this little machine is converting light directly into electric power. It'll convert 10 or 12 percent of sunlight directly into electric power. And we do have the technology to we know how to do We have the technology this. right now. We know how to do it. Yes, so, uh, we don't build a big power plants tomorrow morning, but we know how. It takes a lot of development of equipment and so on. Uh, but we know how to do it now. amount of sunlight that falls on the planet is 20,000 times the amount of fossil fuel power we're using now. So we are awash in sunlight. There's plenty of energy from sunlight. We just haven't begun to learn how to use it properly. The real barrier to implementing solar electricity now is its cost. To generate the, the same amount of power we now use in fossil fuel, you'd have to cover a land area roughly half the size of the state of California. All of the solar cells made in the world up to now probably would only cover about 10 square kilometers. It's a tiny fraction of it, so uh, not impossible, not unthinkable, but really a huge technological challenge. We've got to look at all of these sources of energy and if you add them all together, you must be very optimistic about each of these sources to believe that we can produce anything like the uh, quantity and quality of energy that we're getting from fossil fuels. Our worldwide demand now is somewhere between 25 and 30 billion barrels a year, and it's increasing at a, an alarming rate. Uh, and that's really where the problem is. The, the demand is so huge, there is nothing that we can imagine to replace oil in those quantities. of ideas around and the ideas are just vapor until somebody actually tries them and shows that they either work or, uh, and have side effects or don't have side effects or don't work or whatever. That's called research and that's exactly what we're not doing.